It's week 39 of Zerts. So we're going to find out what he has this week and give you guys my recommendations. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, it is week 39 of Zer, and Zer is actually located at the Traveler. So, we are going to find out what he has this week. Mark him real quick, and let's go. Zer, what's up dude? There is a I bring a message so, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. For the very first exotic, we have the Dragon Shadow. For the Hunter class, it comes with 1 mobility and 3 resilience. And the perk on this is Wraith Metal Mail, which dodge and reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as a Void Paragon Mod. Now, this is definitely a good exotic to have, uh, especially in PvE. But I do feel like there are better exotics out there for the Hunter for PvP. For example, Wormhouse Crown is amazing right now in PvP. Like, just strictly amazing. Just for the simple fact of you gain uh, health regeneration whenever you dodge. It's just so helpful and it gets you out of so many different situations. But, the Dragon Shadow is still definitely a good exotic to use. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. I probably would consider it maybe a tier 2 in PvP, but definitely a, at least definitely a tier 1.5, if not a tier 2 in PvP. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Peacekeepers for the Titan class. And this comes with 2 mobility and 1 resilience. And transit perk on this is Mecha Holster, which reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as self repairing Mod. Now, I personally am not a fan of exotics that are specific to one type of weapon, but if you guys actually just use machine guns when you run and gun, whether it be PvE or PvP, then these can actually be pretty useful for you. So, in that scenario only, I probably am going to rate this probably a Tier 2, in PvE and PvP, but if you do not use submachine guns, then this really isn't that useful to you. So you most likely it's going to get a tier 3.5 to even a tier 4 in PvE as well as PvP. So two different um, rankings for it for two different types of people. Next is what we'll be going over is the transversive steps for the Warlock. And this gives you Two mobility as well as one recovery. And trying to perk on this is Strange Protractor, which, while sprinting, movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, uh, Plus Steel Reinforcement Mod, as well as a Self Repairing Mod. This thing is amazing. And I've seen tons of people use it in PvE, PvP. Whether it be quick play playlist or trials or competitive, a lot of people have gone away from the Ophidian aspect and actually moved to the transverse of steps. And for good reason. Now, if you guys do have a Graviton Lance, this pretty much helps it out a lot when you're switching between weapons. So, yeah, it definitely is a good exotic. So I'm going to rate this a tier 1.5 in PvP, but definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Weapon of the Week is the Huckleberry, and it is an exotic submachine gun. Intrinsic perk on this is Ride the Bull, which increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, kills with this weapon, reload a portion of the magazine. Then we have Fluted Barrel, Ricochet Rounds, as well as Rampage, which kills with this weapon, temporarily grant increased damage, Stacks to three times, and then we have short attack, short, uh, short action stock. Sorry about that. And like all exotics, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. Now, personally, I do not like the Huckleberry, whether it be PVE or PVP, because in order to get its effect off and get it off well, it only really works that good on small enemies like Thrall or Dregs. Now, 
we all know that thralls come in a horde and it's it'll probably work a lot better against thralls than it would dregs but besides that i i really don't see this submachine gun doing too well because the um the ttk on it isn't really that good when trying to get the effect of ride the bull personally i really think that bundy should up the magazine a little bit and make it at least a 38 round mag in order to get the effects of huckleberry off well if not then there's really no point in using huckleberry it's funny because i actually got the uh ornament for it today and it's called the devil's work and this is what it looks like it actually looks pretty badass i'm not gonna lie so next we have your consumables we have your three of coins and it gives you a chance to get an exotic of four hours and last but not least we have your five of swords which is your nightfall challenge card so you can only get this one time if you do not have it then yeah go ahead and uh, grab one and last but not least we have your faded engram and i am on my hunter so we are going to see what we get this week sealed ahamkara's grasps and if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.